Okay, fr friends, subscribers, and everybody out there in YouTube land, um, what I'm about to show you will prove to you that the mainstream media has lied to you once again. Now, in other words, what they've been doing is they're trying to pass off this recent event of a UFO that has been sucking fuel from the sun. And it's a UFO. The heat temperatures prove it. Now, any object around the sun would appear as a dark um, object. If it was cooler, if it's hot, it gets the colours. Now, because it's... Um, in the pink there, that's the coldest area in the pink. Now, again, the object moves away from the sun, and basically I've left this one in here, so you can see the speed of the storms that are travelling around the sun. Now this object is around the sun for over a day, it sucks fuel for a solid 24 hours, then moves away. Yet it stayed stationary while everything else is moving at fairly high speed around the sun. And here it goes. You can see the object. It turns into a cylinder there for a second um, as it's manoeuvring around. Then it vanishes from the sun. Now, the thing is, anything that is colder than the sun is going to appear as a dark section. Now, you see the solar flares actually going over this object going around this object and it's because you can see them as if it's a wind something blowing notice that one there it looked like something was blowing over the surface now that's what happens in real life when you see smoke blowing over an object and yet the mainstream media is out there trying to tell everybody that this is a solar flare this is not a solar flare this is nothing like I have ever seen before and now I'm going to go back through the life of Soho and hopefully going to try and find more of these objects. Now, it's a simple fact that this object is constantly stationary. Look at the storm that's going past it. Look how fast that's going, yet this is stationary. This is not moving. This is in the orbit of the sun, yet the sun is rotating, and yet this is staying there. This is not in a geosynchronous orbit. This is staying in a a controlled position around the sun and you can see all the different temperature ranges that there are solar flares going around the object around as if they're floating over it um, you put smoke in a wind tunnel and blow it over an aircraft this is what it looks like it looks almost identical to what you are looking at here and I'm sorry that I've sped these up folks but if I didn't speed them up you wouldn't get as many color ranges in but you can clearly see this is an object it's not something that is solar flare it has an effect on the sun when it uses whatever gravitational engines because the only thing I can think of that would stop it from falling into the sun is a gravitational engine that has the power to fight the forces of the sun's gravity now in this one, you um, you can't see the shape of it till now, but notice that it's actually concentrating that fuel into one certain area of that object, one certain area, as if it's saying, okay, um, we're sucking it up. They're there for us. that. That is a whole period of a day. The, from the time that you see the three vortexes, which the three vortexes start at the the actual ship and then form into one, and that's where they basically think. That's one solid day. I've got a section of video in a second where you can actually see that it is over a period of a day. Now, look how those three vortexes go into that one section of the thing. Now, I actually think something similar to this could be the reason we get tornadoes. Um, they might say it's hot, cold air, but I tell you now, I think the government knows a little bit more than we do. Now, this one I've put up there and moved back a bit so that you can actually see the vortex as it pulls away, affects it like a drinking straw, and the surface of the sun has been affected. Now, what other solar storm does that? None. You don't ever see a solar storm that has that kind of effect on the thing. Now, here, as you can see, there are the dates, and it proves that this is over a period of the day. You'll see that the actual vortex starts main picks up really strong around the 10th it starts a day earlier but the vortex um, the concentration of fuel grabbing 
happens for a solid 24 hours and then it just vanishes from the sun and the red temperature is basically again um, you can see the object you can actually see it's a, a bit more of a cylinder there or I don't know it could just be a flare going over it I truly think it is a cylinder and uh, you can see the speed of the storms going around the sun yet this object is dead stationary that is the P positive proof that this is a object and not a solar storm if it was a solar storm it would have moved as fast around the sun as you can see those storms moving there now by the time it actually leaves it should be almost dead center of the screen yet that storm is going there now if you really want to go into depth and everything and if anybody questions me about it I can go and get the same period of time where it shows the actual true solar thing there's no you don't see any solar flare activity you don't even see that object but what it does show you is where the main magnetic storms are and solar storms because they leave little black or white dots on the sun in those filter ranges and you can clearly see it it has an effect on the sun it is pulling away from the sun um, that is no solar storm folks that is a UFO that is the biggest UFO I have seen in my life um, this is most of this footage is from the Sado camera actually all of the footage sorry is from the Sado camera I've just used different um, techniques to capture it um, now the thing is it sort of you can look at the way this vortex is forming I've slowed this section right down for you so that you can see the vortex notice how the vortex is starting from the object not from the sun it's starting from the object and then all of a sudden it concentrates that vortex into a tornado yet look at the object it's still cooler than the sun you can clearly see that is an object folks that is something that has gone into the sun and that is sucking up fuel and I believe that a lot of the tornadoes we get or water spouts that we get here on Earth could even be the same type of operation. But instead, when we see water spouts, they're getting water and not hydrogen fuel. Um, because when you think about it, salt water can quite easily be turned into hydrogen fuel. So, but this, I'd say, is their main way of getting fuel. Um, and their craft is designed to go into the sun now again look at the vortexes you can clearly see the vortexes there um, you notice how those waves the solar flares are going around it right they're not going through it they're going around it now to me that clearly says that's where it looks like the cylinder there that section there to me that says that's something that looks like it's in a wind tunnel and the more I look at it you can even see that splash effect of that little bit of hydrogen that pops up after it goes away um, and you see that when you pull an object out of water um, do an experiment put something in water pull it out you'll get this that same violent reaction to the surface and that little drop that we're seeing here in the thing now even in this rainbow section you can still clearly make out the shape you can see that the vortex is there and it's a shape and it starts each time there's three vortexes originating from the object not originating from the surface of the sun originating from the object now see that little plume of hydrogen that pops up um, because you've got to remember the sun is liquid hydrogen burning liquid hydrogen or well, this is what we're told it could be something else we don't know um, no one's ever been to the sun to actually ever really find out what it's really made of um, but I do believe, yeah, it is made of something that's flammable because it does burn. Flammable things can be used for energy and it would be a quite logical place to go and get fuel. If you're an interstellar traveller and you're travelling through space and you need fuel and you run on hydrogen, which would be uh, something that, um, yeah, and if you need oxygen to burn the fuel as well, you would go and uh, suck up water. Uh, which turns into both, both hydrogen and oxygen. Now, look at the vortexes again. But watch the violent reaction. Once this thing pulls away, watch the violent reaction. Now, that is something pulling away. That is not a solar storm. You don't, now, this is where the dates prove that it is over a 24-hour period where you see it. 
now make up the decision for yourselves guys spread this video around and show your friends tell them to watch this video because this video will prove that this object is planet size it's extremely large it's large definitely larger than jupiter and saturn and um it's yeah big now in other words what they've been doing is they're trying to pass off this recent event of a ufo that has been sucking fuel from the sun and colors now because it's um in the pink there that's the coldest area in the pink now again the object moves away from this. it's a ufo the heat temperatures prove it now any object around the sun would appear as a dark um object if it was cooler if it's hot it gets the okay for friends subscribers and everybody out there in youtube land um, what I'm about to show you will prove to you that the mainstream media has lied to you once again. The sun, and basically I've left this one in here so you can see the speed of the storms that are travelling around the sun. Now this object is around the sun for over a day. It sucks fuel for a 